Welcome to Cinema Satsang. It's me, Alisa from Germany, and today I will talk about uh, the new uh, Mani Ratnam movie, Onion Selvan, part one. Um, it's about uh, the Chola dynasty um, from the 10th century, and uh, the story is set in uh, South India in the 10th century. And it is about um, an emperor. The emperor is very, very ill and he will uh, soon die. And now everybody in his um, dynasty is thinking about who will become the new emperor. And we have got several possibilities. The first possibility is um, Adita. Adita is um, the emperor's oldest son and he's played he's being played by Vikram then you have got the second person which is uh, which could also become the emperor and his name is Arul Mozi Varan aka Ponyan Selvan so um, he has got a double role and he is played by Mohan Ravi and then there is the third person um, which um, is, I don't know who he is, is exactly. Um, there is um, a group of influential people who want this man to become uh, the emperor. And then they are conspiring um, against Adita. They don't want him to become the emperor. And so they are conspiring secretly against uh, the eldest son of the emperor. And then, um, Adita sent his best friend, uh, Vandiya Devan, who was played by Kati, uh, to go everywhere in the kingdom and to find out what is happening. And um, I don't know, to inform the people and to see um, what is happening at this moment. So now I will talk about the movie and tell you what I think about it. I really, really love uh, Mani Ratnam. I have already seen three films of his. And I really love them, Dilse, Guru, and Bombay. And I really appreciate him a lot. Um, but with this movie, I had some problems. I will start with the negative points. So the first problem I had were the names. Um, I couldn't understand the names. Uh, this is my problem because I'm from Germany and I'm not a Tamil person. And um, I can understand names like um, Dev, Kabir, Rahul, and so on. But the Tamil names are very, very difficult for me. Um, they are very, very long. And um, the actors tell them very fast, like blah, 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 And then I cannot understand them. So perhaps it's my fault, I don't know. Um, I couldn't, I didn't know who is who um, at the beginning of the movie. The second, the second thing which is very difficult is the plot. Uh, I didn't understand what the plot was in the first 45 minutes. And I have seen a lot of movies and normally I understand what is happening, but I was there and I thought, what is this movie about? Uh, we could see uh, Vandia Devan uh, walk around the kingdom all the time and talk to this person and talk to that person and so on. But I didn't understand quite what it was about. So, I went to the cinema two times. I went on Saturday and on Sunday, and I talked uh, to the Tamil projectionists, and then uh, finally I understood uh, this, uh, the plot. So I haven't read the books, and I was very fresh in this movie, and I, I couldn't understand the plot. Um, the third thing that I didn't like very much were the battle scenes. Two things about these things uh, were a problem for me. Uh, first, the battle choreography and uh, the CGI. So the battle choreography was average and disappointing. Um, I have seen a lot of new movies, uh, Bahubali 1 and 2 and war and RRR and Baji Romastani and I've seen wonderful battle scenes. And I must say that um, in Mani Ratnam's movie, they are a little bit average, nothing special. The second thing that I didn't like was uh, in the battle scenes, the CGI was not so good. I could see it and I, I'm not the person who knows much about CGI. I, but at the end of the movie, the CGI was good, but in this, 
but for scenes, the CGI was not good. So for me, this was a problem. Um, the last thing I must say is the pacing. For me, the pacing was a little slow. So the first 45 minutes were boring. Um, I was sitting there and I thought, hmm, is this a Mani Ratna movie? Because when I think about Dilse, I was totally fascinated. In Bombay, I was totally fascinated. I couldn't stop watching. And I have watched Dilse several times. And in this movie, I thought, oh, now he's going to this town and now he's going to that town. So for me, it was boring. I don't know. The people from Tamil Nadu, they were totally um, fascinated. And um, perhaps because they have watched the, uh, they have read the books. So that's the negative points. Now to the uh, good things. I was sitting there in the cinema and I thought, hmm, do I like this movie? Do I don't like this movie? And then suddenly at about 45 minutes, um, Adita appeared and I was totally mesmerized um, played by Vikram I was totally mesmerized I thought oh, what is this kind of scene and now there is something switched and I said wait now I want to watch this movie and I thought this is this is a Mani Ratna movie it is very interesting now and what happened um, Adita told the audience why he has died two times in his life. The first time he died when his big uh, great love Nandini, when he couldn't marry her because she was not a princess, she was a normal person and he couldn't marry her and then his heart broke. And the second time was when she was already an adult and he was an adult and there was a, a battle and a cabin and the the king of the other um, tribe was hurt. Uh, he was injured. He was injured and he was bleeding and he was in the cabin. And Nandini, played by uh, Aishwara Ray, um, was taking care of him. So now um, Adita entered the cabin and saw Nandini with the bleeding king. And she, she fell on her knees and begged him not to kill the, uh, the king, but he took his word and decapitated him. And the blood was all uh, around in his head. And then he said to the audience, this is the second time when I died. And he was so desperate and he was so sad when he was telling this to the audience. And I could feel, I could feel his despair. I thought, oh, Oh, and this was wonderful. And that's what Mani Ratnam can do very well. Show feelings, traumas, uh, blessed, uh, not blessed, hurt uh, feelings. And then he started a, a song. And in this song, he, he's, he was singing about everything. And this was also wonderful. The second thing that I liked about the movie was um, Nandini, played by Aishwara Ray. She was totally mesmerizing. When she first appeared in a movie behind the curtain, you can, she opened the curtain and you can see her eyes and then you thought, poor. She can play with her eyes like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And the whole um, audience was mesmerized. Everybody was cheering and they went berserk when she appeared um, in this film. And, um, She's 48 years old, you cannot see it. She's so beautiful. And I thought, what a woman, what a woman. So this was the second good thing uh, about the movie. The third thing was the music by R.R. Um, R. Rahman and uh, especially the Chola Chola song with um, Vikram. That's the song about, uh, um, about Adita. Uh, he's a warrior and he's dancing in a warrior kind of uh, fashion and it is a little bit like Malhari in Bajiro Mastani, but in a special way, in his way. So um, I like this a lot. And the last thing I liked was at the end of the movie, um, the scene in the water with the ship and everything what was happening there. And there the CGI was also very good. So that's uh, all from me. Now my conclusion. Um, all in all, I will give this movie a C plus. Um, 
Why? I will give it a C plus because of the plot problems, in my opinion, and because of the pacing and because of all the things I've said. Um, I have seen that the Tamil Nadu people were very, very happy and they were cheering and they understood everything. But I think that it's um, the task of a director and script writer um, to make a movie that everybody can watch, even if you haven't read the books. I have bought uh, the first book now and I will read it and I will watch the second movie because it's uh, the more you watch the movies, the more uh, interesting it is. But nevertheless, I must say that um, Madhini Ratnam should have uh, made the script differently and the battle scenes and somehow, I don't know, to make it more fascinating also for people who are not from Tamil Nadu. Um, I have uh, seen the numbers. Uh, he has spent 500 crores for uh, part one and two, and he has already earned 460 um, crores. So um, from the business and financial point of view, it is a success even though at the moment you cannot say it because the second movie uh, has not been released, but I, I'm 100% one, one sure that it will be a success. So um, yes, that's my review from Pony, uh, Pony and Sylvan. What do you think about it? Um, you people from Tamil Nadu, what do you think about this movie? Um, please comment and tell me so that I can understand more why you love this story so much. Mm, and please, uh, please subscribe and uh, yes, and we will see you the next time. God bless and bye from Germany.